Hiya. So it's a very hot day today, so I'm not doing too much in uh, in Betsy because <laughs> it's very hot. Um, but I just thought I'd give you a quick progress update. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of wood. I didn't realise quite how much wood there was to paint. And sometimes you have the feeling that you wish you'd never started something. Um, but I just thought I'd show you the tiniest bit that I have completed. Well, the bits I haven't first. Oh, that's people on a very hot day going to the beach um so i've kind of like this is the bit where the uh sink is um which i've kind of finished um but i haven't done above it yet as you can see so the the cupboard door is off um where it was being painted um it's probably better that way around isn't that uh and here is still a bit of a mess or if not finished painting um, the bathroom hasn't really changed, the bit by the bathroom, um, finished that, but I've got to tidy it. But this is the bit that I have finished, apart from the latches. So this is where the um, cooker is. Um, so I've painted this wall there uh, and also the top cupboards. Um, I haven't managed to fix these cupboards yet because uh, I can't get the latch to go back in here and also you've got to fit something up there which I have got but it's 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 pretty tricky um and it's very hot today um but this one is is back okay um yeah so I need to fit that soon um what I've done here is I've put some um it's kind of like wood effect sticky stuff uh which is which is waterproof uh, I'm hoping it'll stay on uh, when it gets hot, but um, I was quite quite pleased with the effect. I did find, if anyone is using that adhesive waterproof stuff, that you can actually cut it with a really sharp Stanley knife. Um, I didn't realise this when I was cutting around the plugs and I, I used um, scissors. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's kind of how it looks. I don't know if I can show you, probably better if I get up here and flash to everyone um, but yeah so then uh, underneath it's got the blue again I haven't put this other drawer in because I can't get the latch to go uh, properly so I've got to give that a bit of um, a bit of attention but that tiny area this tiny area here uh, is almost complete so just so I give you a progress update, it is starting to take a very long time. Um, in fact, I'm glad I did the floor first because I think I would have sort of run out of uh, energy. So the next bits I've got to do are uh, I'm going to paint this bit here blue. Um, this bit will leave it as it is. It's got some masking tape. Um, the, that door there needs painting all around here and the doors. Uh, and the toilet door and then as I say uh, the, 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 the laminate that I had here I'll put there however I did notice when I was here that I haven't painted underneath here where the fan goes <laughs> so I'm gonna have to uh, have to do that bit as well slow progress slow progress but takes ages um, I did have a thought with the curtains um, I was looking at an old camper van book retro camper van book and um i thought it had some like czech gingham curtains which i thought looked really nice uh so that's what i've decided on when i looked at the book in the morning when i had my glasses on I actually wasn't pink uh, czech gingham curtains at all um but it kind of did look like it from the picture so i know it's 